The Miramichi is known for its salmon, it's known for its lumber, it's known for its shipbuilding, it's known for its incredible history. 150 years ago, the Miramichi was a thriving lumbering area. Trees were cut, floated down the river in the drives, ships were built, loaded with lumber and sent all around the world. The Miramichi was known as one of the great shipbuilding centers in North America. Many people came here to find work. One of those was a young man by the name of Peter Everly, who came here from Prince Edward Island. Now, it's important to remember that not all was rosy in the Miramichi. Working in the woods was very dangerous. People would die on the drives, they would fall with the logs, be drowned in the woods, maybe they would be hit by a falling tree, and when they were injured, often because of such remoteness of the location, they would suffer terribly before eventually they passed away. Peter Emberley died in the Boys Town area, and he's buried there, and his lament is sort of a tribute to all young people who have had to leave home to find work somewhere else in this great country of Canada. This is Peter Emberley. My name is Peter Emberley. I was born in Prince Edward's Isle, near by the ocean strand. In 1884, when the flowers were a brilliant hue, I left my native island my fortune to pursue. I landed in no Brunswick, that lumbering country. I hired for to work in the lumber woods on the southwest Mermachie. I hired for to work in the lumber woods where they cut the tall spruce down. It was loading two logs from a yard. I received my mortal wound. Here's a do unto Prince Edward's Isle and the Isles along the shore. No more I'll walk her flowery banks or enjoy a summer's breeze. No more I'll watch those gallant brigs as they go sailing by with their bright flags waving in the breeze far above the canvas high. Here's a do unto my father. It was him that drove me here. I thought was very cruel of him. His treatment was severe. For it's not right to oppress a boy or to try to keep him down. For it oft times drives him from his home when he is far too young. Here's a do unto my greatest friend, I mean my mother dear. She raised a son who fell as quick as he left her tender care. It's little she thought not long ago when she sang a lullaby. What country I might ramble in, or what death I might die. 
And now before I pass away, there is one more thing I pray. That some good heavenly Father will bless my mouldering grave. Nearby the city of Boys Town, where my mouldering bones do lay, awaiting for my Savior's call on that great judgment day.